hi guys happy wednesday or whatever day it is where you are i am in my cozy robe but i have places to go today so i thought why not get up at the butt crack of dawn and do a get ready with me with you because i haven't done one in a long time so i'm gonna start by just grabbing i'm reaching behind you because you're on my bathroom counter um my mirror is here, so you might see me looking that way. Um, I'm not ignoring you, I promise. I'm just throwing my hair up. And uh, that's kind of how I like to start things. Don't judge me. I'm 40, okay? And I don't have a stitch of anything in my face. Like, not even lotion yet. I like using these just handy-dandy, like, uh, headbands with the Velcro. I use these to wash my face and... Sometimes I do my makeup. Ooh, so cute. Look at her. Okay, I'm gonna actually start with my jade roller. Big side for the big parts, little side for little parts. I don't roll this on my eyes. I just like look up and I set it down just for a few minutes, um, especially in mornings like today where I have like a, like a sinus headache. Sorry if you hear that sound, that's my washing machine in the hall. Also, sorry if you hear my dog. She's in here with me somewhere. What you doing there, Nyla? What are you doing? Hi, good morning. I can't trust her. Um, I've talked about this a little bit in videos. Um, I posted a video last night where I was talking about her a little bit, but I love her. But man, she's more work than like any pet I've ever had. You can't take your eyes off her for a second, even though I am right now, because she will eat something. Like last week, I hurt my back really bad. Now I'm going to take the big side and actually roll. I hurt my back really bad. And I couldn't really get off the couch. My kids were at school. It was a school day. My husband, thankfully, he was home, but he was working in the garage because the garage is like half storage, half his office. <laughs> so he works in the garage. He works from home, but in the garage. And I couldn't bend over. Like the middle of my back was in a lot of pain. I had been having a lot of back spasms and stuff. Um, I was just in bad shape and couldn't get off the couch, literally. Heat and ice and medication, like muscle relaxer all day long. It was bad. But I hear this like slight chewing sound. I think she just went under my bed right now. I heard her. But I hear this slight chewing sound and there's no one to help me, right? So I'm like, oh no, I have to get down on the ground. I have to see what it is. It was her chewing through the cord of our security camera for the living room that sits on one of the end tables in my living room. She ate right through it, right through it like a cat in like 15 seconds with me sitting right under her because we got new couches that are more like mid-century modern style. So they have legs, so they sit up off the ground and she can squish herself flat and get under there. And that's what she was doing. This was the first 24 hours that we had our new furniture, by the way, because we just got it. Oh, we could go tomorrow. But this is the kind of dog she is. Like right now, I'm already worried because she's under the bed and I don't know what she's doing. But I can't leave her in the living room by herself because what if she chews something? Like I just bought a new lamp. You know she's going to go after that first. I just put it in the living room yesterday, so she'll probably go for that first. Anyways, we got the blood circulating. Okay, that's step one. Step two is I mix these two things together. Sorry, this isn't like in selfie mode, so it's going to be backwards. Um, maybe I'll try to fix it when I'm editing. Maybe I won't. I'll just post it. Um, but I use Cetaphil oil-free facial moisturizer with SPF 35, and I actually combine it with the CCC. Um, which is clean corrective with vitamin c it's a tinted moisturizer it's not a full-on foundation 
um, and this also has SPF 30 in it, so 30 plus 35. So what I do, this Cetaphil lotion is so thick that you have to open it like this and like scoop some out. I don't know who thought of this formula. It's very protective. I never get sunburned. Um, but it's too thick to pump. Like when you like squeeze, 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 it never comes out. But I put some on the back of my hand like that. And then I just do one pump of this. So it's already a tinted moisturizer and I'm basically making it even less of a heavy look. I like to keep it all natural. I feel like the older I get, the more all natural it needs to be. I'm looking in the mirror now. I'm just gonna put some here. Do I use a beauty blender? No. Do I use any kind of foundation brush? Nope. Do I use my God-given fingers? Yup. I used to use a beauty bl blender and then I realized how much product, even if you wet the blender first, I feel, like, I feel like I truly was wasting product. So what I'm putting on my face is basically just the equivalent of like tinted moisturizer that's like barely tinted now because I mixed it with my regular moisturizer that has SPF in it. Like, see, you can barely tell the difference. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna blend down and out to the hairline. I mean, like I said, I like to keep it all natural, but cover a little bit. And I'll show you, you can see that side and that side. Like you can tell that there's something there catching the light, covering a little bit, illuminating a little bit, right? I'm gonna go to the other side and just slap it on. My hands are freshly washed. I washed my hands and brushed my teeth right before I started talking to you guys. I don't take my nose ring out, but I pull it out a little bit so you can get around it because that part of your nose needs sunscreen protection too. I put some on my lips. Yep. Because like I said, when you get older, it becomes more about you know, looking fresh and healthy than covered. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to get that double chin and neck. Drag it all the way down. You can even get your earlobes because it's just basically SPF. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror to make sure I don't miss a spot. Cause I have to go somewhere after this for reals. Okay. That's pretty good. I make sure to drag it all the way down. All the way, all the way. I think what I'm wearing today is gonna cover this part of my top of my neck. And it's not supposed to be sunny today, but that doesn't matter. Just grabbing a tissue, wipe any excess off of my hand. See, you can kind of see a difference. Now we're gonna like let it dry, just for a second. Nyla, Nyla, she's under my bed. I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. She might be doing something she's not supposed to do. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I'm just letting it dry a little bit because that was a lot of moisturizer. And the next thing I'm going to do is a little bit of eye concealer. Now, I have allergy eyes, like sinus issues, like lack of sleep. Um, you know, dang, my washer's being really loud. I'm sorry, you guys. It's not really ASMR. But we're going to just do... Oh, sorry. I should tell you what I'm using. Be an influencer. This is e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer matte finish. And I use the color, I don't know, I think it's like medium neutral or medium natural. I think it's medium neutral. I don't know. This is why sometimes I keep the boxes. But we're going to do a dab here towards the corner and a dab towards the outside. See that? Boop, boop. That's literally it. And then 
I'm gonna go all the way up to like my under eye like that and into the corner of my eye like that just using the back of my finger again no tools like the tools God gave you or whatever you believe right and I'm just blending 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 now let's also blend off the sweat because it's stuffy in my room okay so what I do is I bring it all the way down can you see the difference we're bringing it all the way down almost to the cheekbone there you are Nyla hi babes she came out hi babes I know I don't want to pick her up when I'm doing makeup though what's wrong you don't want to be in here I'm almost done I know she's talking Okay, so you can see the difference. <laughs> then whatever's left over on my finger, I press it almost like a highlighter um, up into my eyebrow. And what I do is my eyelids are so naturally dark, it starts to look like I already have the beginning of eyeshadow on. And I do that on purpose because then I know exactly where to put eyeshadow. Almost like I'm creating my own guide. And I bring it all the way down to the side of my nose and I almost use the concealer as a contour because if you don't if you put it a little bit on both sides of your nose but not down the middle then it's almost like you're making a little bit of contour so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go over here and do the same thing on this side now what I like to do because I am using my fingers get a tissue and wipe off the excess from this eye before you go over to this eye so they they have the same amount of makeup and you're not carrying too much excess on your fingers and then go over and we're gonna go all the way up into the eyelid I'm not talking to you guys like you don't know how to do makeup again I feel like there's no right or wrong way it's kind of just like whatever works for you do that and if I wasn't making a video, I can do my makeup in like 15 minutes if I have to. And sometimes I don't even do like the Honest Company CC cream. Sometimes I literally just do um, Honest Company Invisible Blurring Powder with a moisturizer with SPF underneath and that's it. But I'm going to go up into my actual temples like so. Now I'm going to double check in my mirror down here. Sorry, I have a handheld mirror. I'm just double checking because I don't have my glasses on. So I use a handheld mirror to see better. Okay, that's pretty good. It's never gonna like go away. Like I'm 40 and I have bags under my eyes and I have chronic sinus issues, which makes the bags under my eyes there every day. There's nothing that could be done. I'm gonna go behind you guys and I'm gonna grab my Honest Company uh, blurring powder. This is literally Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. It kind of looks like this. See it inside? Um, it's good for like any skin tone. The longer it sits on your face, the prettier it gets. I admit it might look a little bit chalky at first, but you scoop it out and you put it on this little top part. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that? And then I just use a big brush and I'm gonna put this all over my face and my neck everywhere that I put the um, SPF and the um, Honest Company CC cream mixture and I do this while the concealer that's under my eyes has a chance to set and like dry a little bit start to dry Nyla what are you doing she went under my bed again because she's mad Okay, so we're going all the way up now it's starting to look a little more matte um, it won't stay that way it does illuminate pretty good but uh, with the lotion that I use that's like oil absorbing don't forget your eyebrows powder your eyebrows guys it'll help whatever eyebrow makeup you put on later it helps it stay that's my personal opinion and then I'll put some powder up here on top of my eyes I don't use setting sprays I don't use primers 
nobody has time for that I'm gonna take this fluffy brush that's probably intended oh wait let me do the let me do the thing this little fluff, fluffy brush this is my under eye brush I dip it in the powder it's like the only thing I use this brush for and I just put a little bit to set the concealer like that and I also go one more time on the eyelid and up the eyebrow get it in the corner brush any excess off like that go again to the other side sorry I'm not looking at you guys I'm looking in the mirror okay tip of the nose bada bing bada boom Ooh, who is she okay just kidding dog is doing something okay I'm gonna do my eyebrows next but I do, always do this off camera because I have to concentrate because I have no eyebrows really so I have to create them I will tell you though I use and love Maybelline tattoo studio number 378 I use ash brown because my natural hair color is kind of ash brown boring and mousy but it's true um, so I like to use this because pretty close to my color but again, I use Maybelline Tattoo Studio, the little palmade of wax with a little brush. It has like a the spoolie to brush up your eyebrows, like that. Brush them up, get them, get them fluffy, get them ready. And then it has this. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put my eyebrows on. Okay, I'm back. Like I always say with my eyebrows, the goal is never twins, cause you're a human being. The goal is sisters so I use my tattoo studio in number 378 and I use this little applicator put the crap on and then I use little spoolie part and like brushed it up a little bit um, it looks dark but if you can see my hair up here I mean I am a dark haired person and I don't dye my hair anymore so my hair is naturally quite dark um and i also wear my eyeglasses a lot and i've noticed like because i'm you know you know <laughs> older i wear my eyeglasses a lot and my eyeglass frames my current ones they're black so i can get away with like a little bit of a thicker like darker eyebrow and it actually fits the type of glasses that i wear really well and kind of looks cute when they're darker I don't know that's just what I tell myself in my head but these are my eyebrows that's as good as they're gonna get for today we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow this is cover girl um, I'm trying to see number 102 sweet escape so it has like a cream a brown and like a neutral shade in it I'm gonna do something that you guys have probably never seen before I'm gonna use the applicator it comes with cuz I actually I prefer them dun, dun, dun. I know I'm one of those weirdos so what I always do is I wipe off the applicator all the excess from the last time that I used it I do go back in with a regular brush and blend it but for that first initial application I actually like how much makeup these scoop up and get on your eye especially when you're using an inexpensive eyeshadow so I use the pointy tip side and I go in and I always do highlight my brow bone first with the lightest color which is this like whitish cream color and I start where I want it to be highlighted the most which is at the point and I go over let's go over the eye or the eyebrow and get a little more and I go up 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 yep all this with one of these regular cheap ash little sponge applicator whatever you want to call it and I am going to drag this light color again because kind of like I did with a concealer all the way into the corner of my eye because I have dark circles and I drag it onto my eyelid right where the corners meet and that becomes like the first eyeshadow color on my eye now 
no, I'm not going to leave it like this. I take this cute little brush, this little regular brush, and I'm going to blend it out. All you makeup artists out there, don't freak out. I'm going to blend. Don't freak out. I do my makeup very 90s. No one has to tell me in the comments. Um, you know, I've gone lighter over the years, different colors and shades and try different things. But at the end of the day, I just, I do what I feel like works best for my face. And I do what I have the actual time to do. I'm already, like if, I, if this was a regular day and I wasn't making a video, I'd be done with my makeup. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just do what works for you. If you, When you're all done doing your makeup, if you feel pretty, I don't care if your eyeshadow is three shades of blue and your lipstick is red and you have enough blush on for four people, live your best life. You know, I prefer to go fast and all natural with my makeup. Um, I used to wear a lot of makeup and compared to those days I wear like no makeup and now I'm not trying to brush it all away I'm trying to just blend it out so it doesn't look too heavy see what I did there can kind of tell right okay now again with this applicator I'm gonna go into the like I don't know what color it's like kind of like a shiny metallic peachish color like a neutral and I'm gonna stick that on the eyeball not eyeball but eyelid like that and like that and like that. I'm going to grab my uh, handheld mirror real quick and look at myself down here. Like that. Okay, and yes, with the same brush, I'm just brushing, I'm just wiping it on a tissue. I'm going to blend it just a little bit. Same brush, you guys. I'm going to go up a little bit so that the sparkly prettiness is all over the eye. Like that. We're going to grab the same little cheap applicator that it came with and go do the other eye. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And I'm going up. Yeah, right, then she'll think I left. And then she'll wake up and act crazy again. But thankfully my husband and my daughter, they took her outside to play once they were all done getting ready for their day this morning before my husband took the kids to school. And uh, they wore her out. And I was like, that's the greatest gift you guys can give me. Because I was able to like put laundry away before the, my kids ever left for school and I was able to put another load of laundry in the washer and now I'm able to make a video with you guys because she fell asleep because usually she is uppity for a while in the morning and she like needs to be worn out. She's just a puppy, you know? And I don't, she's a rescue and I don't know what her life was like. She's just higher energy than my other dog ever was, ever. Okay, so that's what we have. We have like a little like just like a creamy sparkle now I feel like it's kind of sorry my I'm using my phone and it keeps going off uh, I'm going with the chocolate brown color in the middle and I'm going with the other side of the pointy tip because I feel like by itself this is pretty boring so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use eyeshadow like a pale brown eyeliner and I'm just putting it on my eyelash line um again I wear my eyeglasses so often now and I have hooded eyes 
so with those two things combined no matter what I put on my face as soon as I open my eyes and put on my glasses there it goes it disappears you can't see it like I could be doing a cut crease this that like eyeliner all this stuff and like but as soon as I open my eyes and put on my glasses like good luck seeing the 30 minutes that I spent on an eye look like I don't have time for that I have a puppy and a 10 year old and a 7 year old like this is it but see the difference I put like a chocolate brown um, eyeshadow line on this eye but not that one it's just subtle enough to be like oh she put in effort I see more than one color in her eyes you know what I mean and also whatever I put on my lash line that's what's really gonna show the most <coughs> oh there goes my dog sorry where'd she go <coughs> please hold Okay, while my dog was barking at God knows what, because she's in my room, I'm pretty sure she was dreaming, I did the brown on both sides. The eyeshadow as eyeliner. Um, I'm going to do a trick now that is truly from the 80s, or maybe 90s. I like to use blush as the way to like blend it all together. Um, so I use CoverGirl. Um, CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in Natural Glow. It's literally like, there I am in my phone. <laughs> but see that color? It's like a peach. It's coming up more peach on my phone camera than it actually is. Um, it's just a really, it's a natural glow. Literally on anybody, it would look like you got sun kissed. But this color, I literally use the blush that the blush brush it comes with um it's a great like transition color to blend out the shadows that i put on my eye so i go like where my eye bone is like the eye socket and i literally just go like this is this from the 80s or 90s this makeup idea yep 100 percent. do i care nope this is a trick that works now look at the difference See that eye with this color on it to blend these, the top and bottom together. Now look at that eye with nothing. See, it's just a little like kiss of color so that there's something on the whole eye from eyebrow to eye uh, to eyelash. Go to the other side. And I also use this color on the tip of my nose, like that. It's really pretty. Put a tiny bit more on this side. Okay, now I'm going to check with my handheld mirror because I'm blind. Yeah, pretty. See? Just like super simple. Like that. Then I use the same color as like a base, like blush, um, instead of like bronzer or whatever. And yeah, I'm using the brush it came with because I'm crazy. Just find my cheekbones and just sweep up, 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 up. Find the cheekbone and just go up all the way into the hairline. Again, a little more on the nose. Go up into the hairline. A little bit across there and up. See how it just like kind of like catches the light? And see how like it matches with what I did to my eye, creating like a really like all natural look because it's the same color. It's very 80s, 90s, but I also feel like that's like what's in right now everything 90s is coming back but this is just what i do this is i've used i i've used blush as like a in between color on my eyes we know a blending out color my whole entire life i think one day i was like oh that looks pretty and i just did it and i think it also comes from learning how to put on makeup for my mom because 
even though my mom didn't wear a lot of makeup um, when I was a kid growing up, she went to cosmetology school. And so all of my mom's training was from the 80s and early 90s on how to do makeup. And then she worked for a makeup company, kind of like Mary Kay, but it wasn't Mary Kay, it was called something else. And she did trainings like in our living room to get people to buy makeup. She would teach other people how to put on their makeup and she'd use my face. Okay, do you see the difference now? We're glowing, we're glowing. I'm gonna look in the mirror and see if I wanna add any more blush today or not. Maybe I'll do a little tiny touch of this one. That, oh, I almost dropped it. It's called Maybelline Fit Me. Um, number 35, which is coral. Looks like this. Sometimes I'll use this. I have a browner one too, and I will use a brush for this, you guys. Don't panic. Like a regular like angle brush. And if and sometimes I'll just take a tiny bit on the tip of the angle. See that? I'm like, I'm gonna brush a lot of it off actually. Just a tiny bit. And I go like this. And I smile with my fat cheeks. See the difference? It's just a little tiny like, oh, hello. Just like this. And I don't put it anywhere else. Now I'll double check in my handheld mirror to look more up close. Yeah, pretty. Okay, cool. I'm almost done. We're gonna do a lip liner. This is NYX Cosmetics lip pencil, lip crayon. This is called Peekaboo Neutral. You can see the color, maybe. It's a pinkish neutral. Peekaboo Neutral. And we're going to align our lips. And I align my lips like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit outside the line. Uh, I'm looking at the handheld mirror down here. But my goal is not to like change my mouth shape. I think my lips are one of the things on my face that are still kind of okay at 40. So I'm not trying to change the shape. I'm just trying to enhance the view of my lips on my face. I really should have sharpened this. Oh well. Okay. And I'm just, I don't go like this, eh, like that. I don't do that. I just accept the shape for what it is. And color it in a little bit. My mouth has a tendency to like turn in at the tips. So I just try to make it, uh, I guess a little more elongated on the sides. That's it. Now I'm going to take another NYX, um, butter gloss, NYX butter gloss. Looks like this. You can get these on Amazon. This color is called Madeline. They all seem to have like sweet names, the neutrals or like cookie names. And Madeline is basically my skin color, but shiny. And I rub it in. Neutral lip. Mwah. Pretty. That's pretty much it for that. Now, my tried and true mascara is currently broken, <laughs> but look at this. But this is Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. It is the only one I use. I use very black or blackest black. This one's very black. The lid is broken. Um, I never do my mascara on camera because it makes my face look funny. So when I come back, you guys will see the final look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. 
my bathroom is over here but i wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the like daylight so i'm standing in front of my bedroom window because my bathroom is uh very shadowy i probably should have done the makeup video in front of my uh, bedroom window because i like to do my makeup in the daylight not in light provided by like a lamp or by a bathroom light or whatever because if you do your makeup in the daylight you'll see what it's going to look like to other people when you go outside and i think i'm obviously not a makeup artist but sorry i'm like kind of shaky because i'm holding my phone but that's my biggest advice um as someone who's been wearing makeup since i was 12 <laughs> do your makeup in the light of day anywhere that you can do your makeup i did my makeup in the bathroom for this video but I don't do my makeup in my bathroom. I do my makeup standing right in front of my bedroom window um, with a mirror on the wall to the right of me and also my handheld mirror. Because if you do your makeup in the light of day um, using actual daylight outside, uh, you'll never have to wonder if your makeup looks okay to people outside or if you're choosing the right colors or whatever because you'll know exactly what your makeup's going to look like when you step outside because you already did your makeup using daylight so this is the final look this is my uh mommy 40 year old mommy makeup um this is how i do my makeup pretty much every day um, sometimes I will use no CC cream from Honest Company. Like I said, sometimes I'll just use the moisturizer with SPF and then the invisible blurring powder. Sometimes if I know that the only thing I have to do that day is go pick up my kids from school and other than that, I'm doing chores. Then sometimes I'll just put my eyebrows on <laughs> and some lip gloss and go pick up my kids with big sunglasses on. Um, but when I go out into the world and I want to feel pretty and I have places to go and people to see... This is how I do my, my makeup. Um, it's quick. It's easy. I don't use a whole bunch of brushes. And I hope that this was fun to watch. Um, now I really have to go get dressed because I'm still in my robe. <laughs> I have places to go. But you can see my eyeshadow, my uh, blush trick. It's just all about being natural to me. Um, so, yeah. This is it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, if you watched it all the way to the end, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.